Numbers 25 Worship of Baal of Peor While Israel dwelt in Shittim the people began to play the harlot with the daughters of Moab. These invited the people to the sacrifices of their gods, and the people ate, and bowed down to their gods. So Israel yoked himself to Baal of Peor. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Israel, and the Lord said to Moses, Take all the chiefs of the people, and hang them in the sun before the Lord that the fierce anger of the Lord may turn away from Israel. And Moses said to the judges of Israel, Every one of you slay his men who have yoked themselves to Baal of Peor. And behold, one of the people of Israel came and brought a Midianite woman to his family, in the sight of Moses and in the sight of the whole congregation of the people of Israel, while they were weeping at the door of the tent of meeting. When Phinehas the son of Eleazar, son of Aaron the priest, saw it, he rose and left the congregation, and took a spear in his hand and went after the man of Israel into the inner room, and pierced both of them, the man of Israel and the woman, through her body. Thus the plague was stayed from the people of Israel. Nevertheless those that died by the plague were twenty-four thousand. And the Lord said to Moses, Phinehas the son of Eleazar, son of Aaron the priest, has turned back my wrath from the people of Israel in that he was jealous with my jealousy among them, so that I did not consume the people of Israel in my jealousy. Therefore say, Behold, I give to him my covenant of peace, and it shall be to him, and to his descendants after him, the covenant of a perpetual priesthood, because he was jealous for his God, and made atonement for the people of Israel. The name of the slain man of Israel, who was slain with the Midianite woman, was Zimri the son of Salu, head of a father's house belonging to the Simeonites. And the name of the Midianite woman who was slain was Kajbi the daughter of Zur, who was the head of the people of a father's house in Midian. And the Lord said to Moses, Harass the Midianites, and smite them, for they have harassed you with their wiles, with which they beguiled you in the matter of Peor, and in the matter of Kajbi, the daughter of the prince of Midian, their sister, who was slain on the day of the plague on account of Peor. Numbers 26 A Census of the New Generation After the plague the Lord said to Moses and to Eleazar the son of Aaron, the priest, Take a census of all the congregation of the people of Israel, from twenty years old and upward, by their fathers' houses, all in Israel who are able to go forth to war. And Moses and Eleazar the priest spoke with them in the plains of Moab by the Jordan at Jericho, saying, Take a census of the people, from twenty years old and upward, as the Lord commanded Moses. The people of Israel, who came forth out of the land of Egypt, were Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, the sons of Reuben, of Hanuk, the family of the Hanochites, of Palu, the family of the Paluites, of Hezron, the family of the Hezronites, of Carmi, the family of the Carmites. These are the families of the Reubenites, and their number was 43,730. And the sons of Palu, Eliab. The sons of Eliab, Nemuel, Dathan, and Abiram. These are the Dathan and Abiram, chosen from the congregation, who contended against Moses and Aaron in the company of Korah, when they contended against the Lord, and the earth opened its mouth and swallowed them up together with Korah, when that company died, when the fire devoured two hundred and fifty men, and they became a warning. Notwithstanding, the sons of Korah did not die. The sons of Simeon according to their families, of Nemuel, the family of the Nemulites, of Jamin, the family of the Jaminites, of Jachin, the family of the Jachinites, of Zerah, the family of the Zerahites, of Shal, the family of the Shaulites. These are the families of the Simeonites, 22,200. The sons of Gad according to their families, of Zephon, the family of the Zephonites, of Haggai, the family of the Haggites, of Shunai, the family of the Shunites, of Ajni, the family of the Ajnites, of Eri, the family of the Arites, of Arad, the family of the Aradites, of Areli, the family of the Aralites. These are the families of the sons of Gad according to their number, 40,500. The sons of Judah were Er and Onan, and Er and Onan died in the land of Canaan. And the sons of Judah according to their families were, of Shelah, the family of the Shelanites, of Perez, the family of the Perzites, of Zerah, the family of the Zerahites. 
And the sons of Perez were, of Hezron, the family of the Hezronites, of Hamel, the family of the Hamulites. These are the families of Judah according to their number, 76,500. The sons of Issachar according to their families, of Tola, the family of the Tolaites, of Puva, the family of the Punites, of Jashub, the family of the Jashubites, of Shimron, the family of the Shimronites. These are the families of Issachar according to their number, 64,300. The sons of Zebulun, according to their families, of Seard, the family of the Seardites, of Elon, the family of the Elonites, of Jalil, the family of the Jalilites. These are the families of the Zebulunites according to their number, 60,500. The sons of Joseph according to their families, Manasseh and Ephraim. The sons of Manasseh, of Machir, the family of the Machirites, and Machir was the father of Gilead, of Gilead, the family of the Gileadites. These are the sons of Gilead, of Ezer, the family of the Ezerites, of Helic, the family of the Helkites, and of Asriel, the family of the Asrielites, and of Shechem, the family of the Shechemites, and of Shemida, the family of the Shemidates, and of Heper, the family of the Heperites. Now Zelophehad the son of Heper had no sons, but daughters, and the names of the daughters of Zelophehad were Mala, Noah, Hogla, Milka, and Terza. These are the families of Manasseh, and their number was 52,700. These are the sons of Ephraim according to their families, of Shuthela, the family of the Shuthelahites, of Becher, the family of the Beshrites, of Tain, the family of the Tahanites. And these are the sons of Shuthela, of Aaron, the family of the Aaronites. These are the families of the sons of Ephraim according to their number, 32,500. These are the sons of Joseph according to their families. The sons of Benjamin according to their families, of Bela, the family of the Belaites, of Ashbel, the family of the Ashbelites, of Ahiram, the family of the Ahiramites, of Shephupham, the family of the Shephamites, of Hupham, the family of the Hupamites. And the sons of Bela were Ard and Naaman, of Ard, the family of the Ardites, of Naaman, the family of the Namites. These are the sons of Benjamin according to their families, and their number was 45,600. These are the sons of Dan according to their families, of Shuham, the family of the Shuamites. These are the families of Dan according to their families. All the families of the Shuamites, according to their number, were 64,400. The sons of Asher according to their families, of Imna, the family of the Imnites, of Ishvi the family of the Ishvites, of Beria, the family of the Bereites. Of the sons of Beria, of Heber, the family of the Heberites, of Malchiel, the family of the Malchilites. And the name of the daughter of Asher was Sarah. These are the families of the sons of Asher according to their number, 53,400. The sons of Naphtali according to their families, of Yaziel, the family of the Yazelites, of Guni the family of the Gunites, of Jezer, the family of the Jezerites, of Shilam, the family of the Shilimites. These are the families of Naphtali according to their families, and their number was 45,400. This was the number of the people of Israel, 601,730. The Lord said to Moses, To these the land shall be divided for inheritance according to the number of names. To a large tribe you shall give a large inheritance, and to a small tribe you shall give a small inheritance, every tribe shall be given its inheritance according to its numbers. But the land shall be divided by lot, according to the names of the tribes of their fathers they shall inherit. Their inheritance shall be divided according to lot between the larger and the smaller. These are the Levites as numbered according to their families, of Gershon, the family of the Gershonites, of Kohat, the family of the Kohathites, of Merari the family of the Merarites. These are the families of Levi, the family of the Libnites, the family of the Hebronites, the family of the Malites, the family of the Mushites, the family of the Korahites. And Kohat was the father of Amram. The name of Amram's wife was Jochebed the daughter of Levi, who was born to Levi in Egypt, and she bore to Amram Aaron and Moses and Miriam their sister. 
and to Aaron were born Nadab, Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. But Nadab and Abihu died when they offered unholy fire before the Lord. And those numbered of them were twenty-three thousand, every male from a month old and upward, for they were not numbered among the people of Israel, because there was no inheritance given to them among the people of Israel. These were those numbered by Moses and Eleazar the priest, who numbered the people of Israel in the plains of Moab by the Jordan at Jericho. But among these there was not a man of those numbered by Moses and Aaron the priest, who had numbered the people of Israel in the wilderness of Sinai. For the Lord had said of them, They shall die in the wilderness. There was not left a man of them, except Caleb the son of Jephunneh and Joshua the son of Nun. Numbers 27 The daughters of Zelophehad Then drew near the daughters of Zelophehad the son of Heper, son of Gilead, son of Machir, son of Manasseh, from the families of Manasseh the son of Joseph. The names of his daughters were, Mala, Noah, Hogla, Milka, and Terza. And they stood before Moses, and before Eleazar the priest, and before the leaders and all the congregation, at the door of the tent of meeting, saying, Our father died in the wilderness, he was not among the company of those who gathered themselves together against the Lord in the company of Korah, but died for his own sin, and he had no sons. Why should the name of our father be taken away from his family? because he had no son. Give to us a possession among our father's brethren. Moses brought their case before the Lord. And the Lord said to Moses, The daughters of Zelophehad are right, you shall give them possession of an inheritance among their father's brethren and cause the inheritance of their father to pass to them. And you shall say to the people of Israel, If a man dies, and has no son, then you shall cause his inheritance to pass to his daughter. And if he has no daughter, then you shall give his inheritance to his brothers. And if he has no brothers, then you shall give his inheritance to his father's brothers. And if his father has no brothers, then you shall give his inheritance to his kinsman that is next to him of his family, and he shall possess it. And it shall be to the people of Israel a statute and ordinance, as the Lord commanded Moses. Joshua appointed Moses' successor. The Lord said to Moses, Go up into this mountain of Abarim, and see the land which I have given to the people of Israel. And when you have seen it, you also shall be gathered to your people, as your brother Aaron was gathered, because you rebelled against my word in the wilderness of Zin during the strife of the congregation, to sanctify me at the waters before their eyes. These are the waters of Meribah of Kadesh in the wilderness of Zin. Moses said to the Lord, Let the Lord, the God of the spirits of all flesh, appoint a man over the congregation, who shall go out before them and come in before them, who shall lead them out and bring them in, that the congregation of the Lord may not be as sheep which have no shepherd. And the Lord said to Moses, Take Joshua the son of Nun, a man in whom is the Spirit, and lay your hand upon him, cause him to stand before Eleazar the priest and all the congregation, and you shall commission him in their sight. You shall invest him with some of your authority, that all the congregation of the people of Israel may obey. And he shall stand before Eleazar the priest, who shall inquire for him by the judgment of the Urim before the Lord, at his word they shall go out, and at his word they shall come in, both he and all the people of Israel with him, the whole congregation. And Moses did as the Lord commanded him, he took Joshua and caused him to stand before Eleazar the priest and the whole congregation, and he laid his hands upon him, and commissioned him as the Lord directed through Moses.